Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The first step in the construction of a posterior acrylic tray is to outline the peripheries of the tray using pencil on the study cast. The tray must be extended to completely cover the teeth in the region where the bridge will be constructed. Two thicknesses of wet asbestos strips are placed over the occlusal surface of the teeth. The asbestos is brought down to the penciled finish line on the study cast. An extra piece of asbestos is laid over the abutment teeth. It is important that the, the asbestos be uh, placed down into the edentulous area. The asbestos is relieved using a number seven wax spatula to provide stop areas for the teeth, for the tray on the teeth that are designated. The former tray material is mixed in a paper cup with a tongue blade. This allows the residual material to be disposable. The material is allowed to set until it reaches the doughy stage. The doughy former tray material is fashioned in the, into a cigar shape and placed on a lubricated tray roller. The material is rolled out. It is important that the, your fingers in the tray be roller be lubricated with Vaseline to keep it from sticking. The roll form a tray is placed on the cast. It is molded with the fingers so that it comes down to the penciled periphery the lines on the cast. The edentulous area is molded in with the finger. The next step is to fashion a handle using the residual material out of the cup. A little monomer is placed in the anterior region of the tray and from the paper cup a handle is placed in this area. After the tray is hardened, it is removed from the cast and the asbestos is peeled out from the tray. This is accomplished by hand and by use of a number seven wax spatula. Residual asbestos is scrubbed out using a toothbrush and water. The asbestos liner is saved and rolled into a cigar length, which will aid in selecting the correct amount of rubber-based material to fill the tray. Note the stop areas on the tray in the molar region, in the cuspid regions, and in the soft tissue behind the molar preparation. The play tray is placed back on the study cast, and any extensions are noted in pencil. These extensions must be eliminated. The extensions are trimmed with either a fast cut stone on a lathe or with a arbor band mounted on an arbor chuck on the lathe. It is important that the peripheries of the tray be smooth to the touch so that there are no irritating rough edges to injure the patient's cheek. A notch is made for the freedom on the tray. A thin layer of permelastic adhesive is placed 
on the in, an, interior aspect of the tray. The material is placed over the periphery of the tray to uh, allow proper adhesion or adherence of the rubber base to the tray. The tray is set aside after the application of the adhesive so that the adhesive will thoroughly dry. After the, it is thoroughly dried and you have adhesive over the peripheries of the tray, you are ready to take the rubber base impression. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.